and it also comes with sharpener the own sharpener I haven't tried this one um, hopefully it's really good I'm using a, a really cheap one it cost me three dollars you know I bought it in Ecoslay last year something like that and it's really really good um, I don't know where it is though but yeah I'll, I'll show it to you and I'll make a review between this and the sharpener that I have which one is good um, hopefully this one is really good and it doesn't break my pencils the one that I have is really cheap but it's really really good it doesn't break the lead of the pencils that I have I use it for um, Derwent and um, Prismacolor Mar Marco Fine Marco Renoir Crayola name it so let's see if it's um, smudgeable aquarellable okay let's just choose one color I did try it before that's why I have this example here but I just want to show you guys so I have here um, number one four zero zero slash four oh five it doesn't really say the name of the color it just have the number so let's see so when you apply it on the paper with a light pressure you can see how vibrant it is this one is very very light um, let's see I'll use my stump though just to see if it's um, you can smudge it oh yes you can Yep. Um, it's really good. Uh, we'll try blending with another color. The same, very, very light application. Yeah, it's really, really good. They blend together very, very well. Um, let's see if it's watercolor as well. Using my brush here. Um, I don't really see that um, it is aquarellable. I mean, yes, the color blends a little bit, but it's not like the watercolor pencil. So I wouldn't recommend using using it as a watercolor. Use it as like um, you know the co normal colored pencils. Um, yeah. Later on, I'll make a review regarding this sharpener and my sharpener that I use. And um, I will also try them um, on the, one of the pages uh, that I'm coloring at the moment. So that's about it regarding Stabilo Carbotella. Thank you guys for watching.